All right, this is VE4VR doing a demonstration of ChatGPT being accessed over amateur radio. In this case, we're using a D-Star digital voice repeater on VHF, which will receive my test transmission, which is digital voice. And then that's sent over the internet to a server in a data center, which has a Northwest Digital Radio Thumb DV Ambi transcoder plugged into it. The voice is transcoded to plain digital voice. It's run through a speech to text engine, which is then run through chat GPT and then all the way back transcoded and comes back to the radio. So we can now ask questions like this from anywhere. What is the easiest way to get an amateur radio license? Getting an amateur radio license can be a relatively simple process, but it does require some studying and preparation. The easiest way to get an amateur radio license would be study the material. Get a copy of the study materials for the exam, either online or from local amateur radio clubs, and study the material thoroughly. The questions for the exam are usually based on these materials. Take practice tests. Take as many practice tests as possible. This will give you an idea of what to expect on the exam and help you identify areas where you need to focus more studying. Find an exam session. Look for an exam session near you. Usually organized by a volunteer examiner coordinator, VEC, in your area. And register to take the exam. Pass the exam. The exam usually consists of multiple choice questions. Apply for a license. After passing the exam, you will need to submit an application to the regulatory authority in your country, along with the appropriate fee. It's important to note that the requirements to obtain an amateur radio license can vary depending on the country or region. But generally, the process is similar. In most countries, the exam is not difficult and can be passed with some studying and practice. Additionally, most countries have different classes of license, each with increasing privileges and exam requirements. Some countries also offer a fast track or shorter version of the exam for people who already have knowledge or experience in radio communications. So there you have it. That's a quick demonstration of just anything that you can talk to the service now from anywhere you can get a radio signal. Thanks to John K7VE for forwarding along the email asking if you could do this. So absolutely, just another voice service plugged into digital radio or analog radio. That's, that's it for now.